What is up, besties? Welcome back to my channel. I told you in 2025, I'm going to be here giving you more uh, behind the scenes, more longer videos, because you guys always say, do you have a YouTube? I want to see you do it a little bit longer. You're going too fast when I post on social media. So here I is. Here I am. Okay. So this is a series that I'm going to be doing called the bestie how to. And in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to create and use the mock-up template app inside of Canva. So go get into Canva. When I say bestie how to, it is I'm doing it and you doing it and we doing it together. Or you can watch and come back and do it, you know, when you have time, because maybe you're at work or something like that. But in about October of last year, Canva rolled out a bunch of new bells and whistles. And if you know anything about Canva, when they roll out new stuff, it's not always ready to go. It's a little glitchy. And this is not even at its best, but I think it's good enough for us to start using it. It's finally like doing what it's supposed to be doing. So how can you use it? What is it? Let's get into it. So on the screen, you see a finished product. It is a mock-up that I generated with AI for paint and sips. I have a paint and sip template. I have mock-up templates for just about anything um, on our site. And you see the finished product. You see it really looking like that canvas has been, you know, painted on like a paint and sip. Well, this is the original photo, the original mock-up that someone would buy from me, right? So what we're going to be doing is we're going to tap on our image and we're going to click edit. And when we click on edit, we're going to see all of the uh, Magic Studio effects, all the thing Canva has to offer. You want to get apps and get the mock-ups if you don't have it. Typically, it's there, but if you don't see it, it's in the app store. So we're going to click on mock-ups. And as you know, Canva has plenty of mock-ups available. They have mugs. They have tote bags. They have t-shirts. They have cards. They have laptops, iPhones. But what's so beautiful about this is that you can now just use any image. It could be an image of yourself with your shirt on. And then you go and make that a mock-up template to be used. So once you click on it, at the very top, you have to have pro for this. You'll see it says create a mock-up template. We're going to go ahead and hit create a mock-up template. What I love about this is the AI is going to highlight different parts of this image that can be used as a mock-up. It's trying to ask you, which one of these do you want to generate for your custom mock-up? I obviously want the canvas, so let's wait and see what happens. So there it is. It's showing us kind of some weird spots here, but what we want is the canvas, and there it is. We're going to select that. We're going to hit confirm, wait a few seconds, and it should be ready to go. Let me hit confirm once again. Let's see. Uh-oh, see? It's, it's acting a little weird here. Let's try it again. Hmm, that is very, very interesting. If it doesn't do it, I'll just exit out the mock-ups and give it a, a try again. It has not, that's the first time it has done that to me. So let's do it again, friend. Edit mock-up so you get a double dose here create a mock-up template isn't that funny how things work it wants to start tripping <laughs> right when i want to do uh, a tutorial so just grab any image that you want to use in this case i'm going to show you several though i'm going to show you a mug a t-shirt we're going to go through different different um products that you typically will want to use as a mock-up so let's give it another try. Don't know why it's acting like this. There it is, awesome sauce. So it is there. So now you are going to insert your image. In this case, if you're selling, um, let me go to my uploads. So I sell like sketch images here, right? So we see the lady, it's just a black and white sketch. But then we also see the uh, painted version, right? So I'm going to upload the, click on the painted version, and I'm going to drag it over the mock-up template, and it is going to like magically appear there, right? Beautiful, perfect. This one is sized appropriately, so it, it went in there great. But you can edit this. Let's say it cut off her head or, you know, you there's some white showing and you want to move things around. Double click on the image. And then it will pull up over here like ways to kind of fill it, uh, fit it, edit it, and all things like that. 
So fit would be for it to fit perfectly on the canvas. Now, when you do that, I noticed that there is some white here. And so I'm not going to be a fan of that. I don't think. Yeah, because as you can see, you can see the actual canvas. So I am going to select fill. One of the things that I did to make sure that my image was the right size was I used the Instagram post size to put my... Um, my artwork in. So when I'm using AI to make my art, specifically for paint and sips, I use, I actually use presentation mode so that I can get the black and white image and I can get the, um, the art image. Let me know if y'all want me to show y'all how to do that. So we're going to now click on alignment just to show you guys all the features. If you want to move it to the left, you can do that, apply changes, and we should see a shift here to the left. Actually, um, don't like that because we now have some other canvas showing. Center, apply changes. There we go. A lot better. Right, let's see. And you're able to um, apply changes. Um, that actually looks the best because her roses were kind of off the canvas. So this is actually best. You can also zoom in, zoom out, move things however you want to do them, all right? Um, if you want to remove the image and you want to try something else, you can detach the image and it will go back to the original state. Let's put that back in there. But this is awesome. We're going to go back and move it. What do we have it in the, um, the center, right? I think we did fit, then feel left center trying to get it um how we had it a few minutes ago a few seconds ago i think it was center there it is is that it y'all let me know maybe move her over a little bit there we go i love it i love it i love it so that is how you would do that this would be great to showcase on a website if you were selling these um, just again, sell that lifestyle that you want your intended for your audience. Um, so let's move on to something else. So I wanted to see if this will work with like a real photo of me. So I'm in the studio, as you can see with this laptop and I just took a quick picture of me with the laptop. And so here is what it looks like just to save time, especially since it's kind of seemed like it's still a little bit glitchy. Um, this is the part where I've already done that part for you with the mock-up. And we're gonna go ahead and put in a presentation. Now, if you're doing a laptop, obviously you wanna do whatever the size of the artwork is. So we have it there, but we're gonna double click. We're gonna make some adjustments. We're gonna hit fit, apply changes. And now, uh -oh, let me refresh. I don't know if it's my connection or what's going on over here. But I'm not recording this over, y'all. <laughs> We're keeping it real, real, real. If you're looking for the fancy YouTuber to be doing all these edits and sound bites and clicks and all of that, that's that's not me. I'm just over here to give you the value. So let's see what it does. While we're waiting for that, this is what it actually looked like. I actually did this earlier. I just wanted to show you. I'm so glad that I pre-prepared and did that already. So we will let that do what it does. All I did was hit fit, y'all, just to make it fit a little bit better on the uh, on the laptop. So then I was curious about the mugs, right? Because you guys sell mugs, you sell journals, you sell t-shirts. Well, my audience, most of my audience does. And so here is the before and here is the after. And you're probably thinking it's an overlay. You're thinking I overlaid or I uploaded the picture with this already on there. No, I didn't. So let's try it again and cross our fingers that we have no glitches. So we're going to click on the image once again. We're going to go to edit. We're going to go to mockups. We are going to go to create the mockup template. And when I did it earlier, I liked that it had gave um, the inside of the mug, the outside of the mug, like... It gave two different options. I'm curious if it's going to do that again. And I'm just curious to see as they continue to uh, refine this, how great it will get. So this is what I mean. This one is kind of showing the inside of the mug there. I don't want that one. It even picked up her sweatshirt if I wanted to use that. Great if you're doing an all over like pattern, seamless pattern sweatshirt or something like that. That would be super cute. But we want the first one. So we're going to hit that one. Confirm. Here we go again. 
This is great that it's in real time doing this though. So you guys won't be thinking that it's like super perfect. Gee, how many times do we have to hit it? This is the third time of me hitting confirm. Interesting. I'm going to do it again. It did not do this to me um, earlier when I was prepping for, for this tutorial. So let's give it another twirl. And I'm sorry, y'all, that you have to wait and watch through all this part like that. That was not my intent. Although I'm not going to be editing and stuff like that, I don't want to waste your time and have like dead space in it. But this is not in my control right here. So there we go. We got it in there. And so what I did was I uploaded a wrap. You know how you have your mug wraps? And so here it is. So same thing. You're going to upload the image, drag the image over, and now you're going to double click so that you can kind of scale things and make it look realistic on your item. And so you do have to do a little bit of tweaking here and there. It doesn't manually, like if you would think if you hit center, it's the center of what you want. It's the center of the space. So I tried to put my subject in the center, but it's still, you got to like manually move it around. But move it around little by little. That one looks great. And then hit apply changes. And then you're good. You, you're good to go. And so we have her. Now let's do this t-shirt. All my t-shirt besties, let me know in the comments if you were ready for this part. Now, typically when we do our shirts, we do this. Or even the mugs and stuff. We just grab. So if you don't know how to do mock-ups, this is a quick little mini. You would grab your PNG or your SVG file and you would trim it and size it how you want. And then you would just put it where you want on the shirt. And now it appears to be on the shirt. Typically we manipulate the, uh, the shading too. So like we can click on it and we may bring down the transparency so that it kind of looks like it's actually on the garment. And I'm still gonna be doing it this way. Um, but I just want to show you that you can also use the new mock-up generator to do it as well. It just depends. The mock-up generator is just going to make it like it's on a shirt, but it's too much finessing that has to be done for the t-shirt part, at least. I really love it for the paint and sip sets. I even did it on a journal. On the journal, it is trying to cover the whole journal, and I kept scaling my journal size down, and it's, it's just better to overlay like we typically overlay mock-ups. But I'm talking a lot. So let's go ahead and do this one, especially since she, I should have been clicking and uh, talking at the same time since she's glitchy. So we're going to get um, the shirt. It's what we want to highlight it. It's probably going to highlight her boots, not her boots. It highlights that bag and that cap. Super cool. Especially the purse. If you make, again, seamless patterns, you use fabrics to, to make um, bags and stuff like that and totes. This is chef's kiss in that case. So we have, I hope, yep, it got the bag, the hat. Here is the shirt. Let's see if we have to play this dance here of it actually working. Wow, it worked the first time. So now we're going to go back to our uploads, grab our t-shirt design, and drag it over. At first, you're going to see sometimes it'll scale it all over the shirt, depending on how large your file is. So obviously, it's not in the right place. So you're going to have to click on it. And then, like I said, you're going to have to do a little bit of your own uh, moving around, scaling. It's actually almost in a good spot. Let's go up just a little bit and see where there get that gets us. Not bad at all. Let me see, y'all. Is that where I want? Maybe we move over a little bit. So this is why I like the current way that we do it because this takes a little bit longer. See? And just that little bit that I did, I didn't think I moved it all that much to the left, but it was a significant shift there. So let's see. Did I not move it? How about I make it a little smaller? See where that gets me. Okay, over a little. Was that a lot? Girl, let me zoom in a bit over here so that I can move not so much. Because that's a lot, friend. Too finicky. Um, 
for the shirt. I'm going to try to go here again, y'all. And down a little bit. And I think this may be it. Yeah, there we go. So let me come on back over here. And there we go. Did I keep the one? So this is the one that we did when we just overlaid. Oh, no, this is the one before, before I did the class. Um, but yeah, it's a little bit small. Obviously, you want to make it fit the true size of it, uh, of the design on the T-shirt in real life. So this is the one that I did before class when I had a little bit more patience and this was perfect. Again, it is, uh, I just like how it looks like it's on a shirt, but for t-shirts, I'm probably more than likely going to do just the overlay the design on top of it. Um, unless it's a flat lay or something like that. And I really want it to look ingrained in the fabric, but I think this is awesome. Let me know what you think in the comments about this new update to canvas mock-up template, mock-up generated template. Definitely feel like for paint and sips, it is the, it's that girl um, for that. If you need these mock-up templates, I have a bunch of them um, for certain things. Like in this case, I think I'm using the paint and sip one. So I have t-shirt mock-ups. I put them in the bottom of this video in case you guys want it. And then I am making some paint and sip uh, images that you can buy and, you know, use it for whatever you need to use it for with the colored image and stuff like that too. And that'll be on our website. Um, tomorrow you'll start seeing that for our Wild Out Wednesday uh, at the tacademy.co. So thanks for watching this video, sticking to it to the end with all of the glitches. Make sure you subscribe. I'm trying to get to my first 1K, even though you guys have been subbing over here and showing me big love, even without me like really posting, because I think we're at like 725. Let's put the date on this too. This is March 25th, and I think it's 725 subscribers. Can we press to get to that 1K as quick as possible so your girl can start getting monetized and keep bringing big value? So thank you. See you in the next one.